transition now because I just want to catch you in that face I just want to I just want to catch that oh my god that was fucking beautiful Josh Woo! we back baby hey Rash hey, hey, hey. first good up good morning happy Wednesday nerds uh we are back for Thursday another for episode <laughs> of magic after dark and we're glad to have you guys here baker's dozen yeah episode 13 13 is that how this is gonna work on stream <laughs> yeah that looks right nice I'm Josh. I'm Chris. It's Chris. Uh, we're uh, we're always glad to be doing the show now. This is uh, this is week fourteen for us. Thirteen. Well, thirteen. Well, fourteen, fifteen. But like, yeah, we missed like, a we, week. But this is. I think we skipped two weeks because there's the Disney one. Yeah. And then I don't remember where the other one is because I'm exhausted as know. always. I don't know. Which is something we're going to talk about. Yeah. A little bit later on. Yeah. Is switching some things around. Uh. So yeah. So um. Fourth of July week. That's right. We had vacation. Thank yeah. you, Rash. Thank you. Rash is our all star. Love this guy. Fucking Love you, Rash. Like we don't uh, know something. Rash is like, I got you, Boo. So, um, before we start, who's on top? Um, <laughs> yeah, flash it on there. Flash <laughs> it off. Um, I just wanted to talk about today. Talk about your shirt. Get off the Golden Girl shirt. <laughs> the Iron Maiden Golden this, Girl shirt. Yeah, this it's was, fucking cool. I got this shirt for my daughter. She's nine. And uh, I got it for Father's Day. I love it. Yeah, I didn't want to talk it's about it. It's been the talk shirt. of the town all night. Yeah, everybody's like, is that fucking serious? I'm like, oh, my nine-year-old got it for me. It's <laughs> got to be serious? serious. Like, she knows I love the show. I mean, listen. You don't have to justify it. At, I was just being like, yeah, look at this at, cool shirt. At 2.30 in the morning, okay, when I was in college... I knew it was time to go to bed because the last episode of Golden Girls was done. And I was like, I'm not going to stay up and watch whatever awful show She's is on She's all next. that? Yeah, it was like, it was something so bad Matt after Locke. Golden Girls. Yeah, it was like some early 90s show. Like, uh, oh, it was Frasier. Oh, yeah. I Frasier comes never on get into right Frasier. after Golden Girls. And that show, whew, oh, it's, that show's awful. Um but yeah, no, I wanted to talk about uh, today before we talked about who's on top because um, I had a great uh, magic afternoon with you today. We had a lot of fun. We played uh, Bridgevine. Yep. So uh, that was a lot of fun today. Um, so if you guys haven't checked that out, check us out. Um, we, we get to play. Sometimes we play real deck. Sometimes we don't. We had a winning record. Yes. Yeah. We we two three. <laughs> we should have like we had we could have possibly went three two, but I think that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. We what? had some real bad opening, and we mulled to like three and four a bunch of times. Yes, it's fine, but yeah. So uh, like we're I I think the more we play, the better we're gonna get because you and I are we're a we're above you, mediocre players. You were on point today. I was a second after I would click something. Yeah, I'd be like, this is gonna happen. Yep. Maybe we shouldn't do that. And, and then it was like, it oh, happened. and then it happened. I was like, God yeah. damn, that was really smart, Josh. If only you... <laughs> if only we would have did it. But, uh, but yeah, so um, today was a great day. Uh, we got a lot of stuff done. We did our first interview today. We did our um, first uh, pre-broadcast 
uh, interview. Correct. So we yeah, have a so. recorded video for you with uh, All Star yep. First F and M Jacob Tilk. Yep. That we will be playing for you later in the the show. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, so like a lot of cool things with the show are going on. Uh, we're getting better uh, each week. We're doing different things. Uh, we're learning more, and that's going to help us bring you guys a better show. We just so. keep evolving, you know. We get yeah. good at something, and we're like, okay, what more can we do? Because we're masochistic, yeah. and we just want to beat ourselves up with, like, it's not good enough until we're playing Jeopardy in the background. Yeah, we got, I mean, we, there's this, there's the, what is that, the, uh, the spin wheel behind us? Yes, I actually do have a wheel of fortune back there. I use it for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Winamat days and we're stuff never, like that. Listen, we're not weak enough to use something like that. That's awful. You what actually just we... gave me an idea. No, no, no. You no. actually just gave me an idea. That's, that is an absolute so, meme of a lifetime. Talk about it at a future time. Okay. Because we'll, we'll work it out. We always like right. to work out the details. Who's on top? Uh, Give it to us. Who's on top? Give it to us. Well, let's get in there. Um, I think I can just go to this. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank Beautiful. you, OBS. So I'm going to mess up his name. Joglas. Thank you. Joglas. So Sun's or it's turn. Hog, it's Hoglas. Oh, you're probably Hoglars. right because it's H. Hoglars. Yeah, see, I'm real bad at that. Mm. I'm real bad at that. He looks Spanish-ish. Probably. Has, has a little bit of descent. Very <laughs> proud. Good photo. Yeah, he looks good there, Good man. photo. Mm -hmm. um, we have some deck lists. In fact, this is his. Blue-white approach. Who saw that coming back? Oh, no, no one. This doesn't have fogs in it. It does not. Oh, I just got Yeah, so that attacks. was. Yeah, so that was the... So that was the biggest thing going into the weekend was the boogeyman from the Pro Tour, mm. uh, which you guys will get to hear us talk about later right. uh, during the interview that we did with uh, Jacob. Um, but uh, <laughs> like we just we didn't see we didn't see this win coming. Mm -mm. Um, this this list still shows up uh, not only in your like top sixteen um, reviews for like SCGs and whatnot, uh, but it also shows up online. Yep. Uh, a it's lot. The, this shows up a lot more it's online the than only it does. one in the top eight. Yeah, it's the only one in the top eight. Yeah. Took the whole thing down. Took the whole thing. So if you see, you see like um, blue white doing well in modern. Yeah. Now it's uh, it's. I mean, the two cards that we keep talking about. Search for ass cancer. Search for ass cancer. And and to fairy hero of dominatrix. Domina dom hero of dominatrix. Here we have Dominatrix. <laughs> uh, yeah. So and so, you have Mono Red, Grixis, Esper, four different decks so far. Yep. Red Black, which is kind of like yeah, the Mono Red. Red Black. Constrictor, which... Um, Online All-Star. Another person who we're going to talk about later today is playing, and she doesn't normally play Constructed, but this is what she's going to go running for. Mm -hmm. um, Blue Black Midrange. And Grixis, so this isn't even, like, the Grixis decks are not the Storm deck either. A Storm deck didn't even make, or, I'm, I'm sorry, not Storm, no, Fog, Fog, didn't even make top eight. Yep. I, and I thought, I thought one made top eight. Yeah, it must have been looking at I was uh, probably the looking blue, at probably the, the blue white. Uh, I think I was looking at the top 64. Probably, probably. Yeah. So, uh, cool stuff going on in Standard. It's not as, uh, the format's not as straightforward as everybody thought it was after the Pro Tour. They thought that... Um, they were just going to have to end up banning um, the Goblin Chain World. Well, they oh, yeah, they were going to have to ban the, Nexus. Yeah, of fate I can't because, even show that one off. Yeah, again, it was just, yeah, it, it they, said, they said it was too good, and it's showing that, you know, uh, what, what were there, like over 1,000 people at the GP? Oh, I didn't check numbers. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure there were. So It's, it's Orlando, Florida, so I assume that people got out for some yeah, nice weather yeah. in Florida stuff. Is scrub out, go to Disney World or something. Mm -hmm. It's yep. like, I think, 30 minutes to an hour from me. It's like, yeah. kiss me or whatever. I was just there. Kiss me. I was just there. <laughs> Next is the Fate, buy a box promo. Uh, take an extra turn after this one. If it would be put into your graveyard, shuffle it into its owner's library. Generally, take an extra turn effects of the new or modern magic R&D era, mm -hmm. exile themselves. Correct. So that you can't kind of go infinite with them. Correct. And this one does completely the opposite of it. So Can you cast this with what's his, uh, Who? What's his fat ass? Um, <laughs> fat Snapcaster? You can't recast this, can you? No, because it won't be in your graveyard. If it gets put into your graveyard from anywhere, I got it right here, Josh. Oh, yeah, it shuffles. Oh, yeah, it gets exiled, right? Oh, no, it gets shuffled into your library. Right. How do you search it back up? You just you just ask cancer and uh, oh you start impulsing for it with mm -hmm. with ask cancer. Yep. 
and uh, and Dom Dominatrix. God, standard is that weak. That's why you play. Red, I mean, that's Black, why you aggro, have these like yeah. That's why you five. have these aggro and burn them out that kind of thing. You know, yeah. it's like you just you just you do play, this stuff. Yeah, you play a control list and you try to you try to counter everything. Like, what's the blue black uh, mid range list look like? Is it just like four negates main board? Check it out. Yeah, I, I, well, real quick, because we're talking about Fog, yeah, the, sure. the black red deck that we're such big fans of, yeah. have added to the sideboard Insult to Injury, and it's basically kind of like your yeah. skull crack. It's skull like crack. A, damage it can't be prevented. Can't be prevented. So Fog, uh, no, we won't prevent this. We'll kill you now. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Yeah. So which one you wanted, Esper? Uh, mm, blue black mid range. No, yeah, Esper control. Okay. Oh, yep, you're right. Uh, you have yeah. So no four gates. Yeah. Four disallow. Uh, syncopate. A syncopate. Uh, yeah, so like main board and then what's the what's the sideboard looking like? Three negate. Three negate. Are Think they the playing guard. duress? Yeah, and yep. and duress. Yeah, so then that's your thought sees, you know, and then you've got your negates. Yeah. So this is really heavy. Oh. Uh ooh god, that's sweet. I, he, this thing's so cool, man. That, that dragon can't Chromium. hit you with his butt. That thing is so cool. No, it cannot. It cannot. But this thing's nasty. Yeah. I hope that sees some play in the upcoming uh, standard rotation. Sure. Okay. So, what's your uh, your next one here that I'm gonna? Mess uh, up? Yeah. So no. So we we had who's on top. So yep. you just you know just click to the next one. Oh. Okay. Going to the next one. Yeah. Absolutely. So um, we always do who's on top for uh, what's going on. Holy shit! The who's joke's on? never gonna end. Nope. Th- that's. Mm-mm. It's the very first thing. What would we say? Episode 100, we'll click on this. Was it 100? I thought we went down Maybe from 50. there. Let's look at Modern. But we we got we went down the rabbit hole in Modern last time. We looked only at Modern. Whoa, what happened? Ah, it's just freezing up on you. It doesn't well, like you. Well, then let's try and look at Standard. Sure. Yeah, since we just talked about Standard. But yeah, so uh, each week we try to make sure that we um, okay. we show you what is really on the high, high competitive level with... Uh, either your SCG events or your Grand Prix events. Um, and then after that, we take you over to uh, what's going on online. Um, it, it sort of um, it this lets you know um, where where things are going. Because a lot of times, things start online first. Yeah. Like, to be honest, like, it, it, this is like the testing phase. Error and so, of information. Yeah, correct. And so if you're doing 5 dailies or if you're, you're hitting leagues up and you're 5 0 with them, uh, people will take those lists and then they will try to break them. High level players. I will break you. I'll break here's, you. Here's your fog list. Okay. Um, here is a red black aggro. Mm-hmm. Aggro. Uh, Grixis. Yeah. I think it's Grixis. Anyways, nothing crazy. Mono green horse. Oh, I see this. This I is so cool. I like that. Johnny on yielding. Is this green white? This Holy is green white. Holy balls. That thing 5 0 Yep. Ew. Yep. Yep. It can do some stuff. Well, yeah, when it plays against bad stuff. Blue black gear Hulk with Teffy. So Asper. Mm hmm. <laughs> and then some more. Blue black with white. With Teffy. Yeah. With Teffy. Blue black with white. <laughs> so Asper. Uh, and then, so nothing, nothing crazy. Nothing outside the. Well, wait a second. You just saw a Wizards Retort? And a Shin. Mono blue. Oh, wizards! Aggro it's wizards. wizards! It's wizards! Agro wizards! Oh man, I'm glad we came down this far. I wonder if this is the weird one we have to play next week. Main now. board spell pierce. Two. Oh. It's a blue aggro deck. Oh. It's got to be big on the Tempest Gen. What does that do? It gets plus one plus zero for each basic island you control. So it comes in as like a three four in this deck, and then usually hits for a four four. That's boring. Yeah, it just keeps getting bigger. Like you don't have to invest anything else in it. You just continue your What's game plan. What's Slitherblade? It's an unblockable. So you get it, and then you put a Curious Obsession on it. So you start drawing cards. <sighs> I'm about to go cross-eyed. This is awful. <laughs> get okay. this out of my fucking face. All right, face. modern. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, modern Kalitas. Kalima. Uh, do, do, do. It's just blue black. What else we got? What the fraggle? Oh, it's Scape just, Yeah, it's just Scape Shift with, with Snapcaster and Snapcaster. What? Why are you? Okay. Blue, it's just, it's probably, uh, scroll back up. Is, is BTL in there? Bring to light. Um, it's a sorcery. Scape Shift, search for tomorrow. I don't see it. No, I think Bring to light is a. They're just playing Peer Through Depths, like, 
I don't know. Yeah, it's just like a it's like a bring to light without bring to light. Sure. Is it in the sideboard? No. Fuck it. Um Dredge. Ooh. Dredge is close to what we played today. Uh Hollow One. What else we got? Yeah. Mm. More scape shift? Yep. Scape shift's hot right now, man. Well, maybe people will actually vote for it. Like, like last week, there were 48 people that are like, you guys need to play Bridgevine. I don't think anybody wants to vote. And nobody wants to... They don't want us uh, to play that deck, to be Blue honest. I don't. Blue White Dragon Lord Ojitai. <laughs> oh, 5-0 with Dragon Lord Ojitai. Wow. People talk about playing this card to me sometimes, and I'm just like, shut your mouth. And then I, I, wouldn't I should too. say... Maybe you should go play that online. You know, take your Ojitai and go play take it your online. Ojitai and go play yeah, online. go five zero with it. How about uh, Avarocious Dragon? <laughs> Russia rigs the vote. <laughs> nice rush. Mm, that's that's true. Okay, okay. So it's always true. nothing, nothing too crazy blowing our mind here. Oh, is this our? Is this the deck we played today? It is. Yep. Stitchers, Stitcher supplier. So let's see his numbers. We played an additional one of these. Mm. He, we we only played three of those. Yeah. Um, Gar- we didn't have any Gargonauts. No Gargle Which I don't think Gargonauts would have done anything for us today. Uh, who knows? Stitch the supplier. Vengevine. So when people... I wanted to fit one of these in there. When I saw... Yeah. We when should I have s- cut the Cathartic Reunion. We should have cut both Cathartic Reunions yep. for Collective Brutality. Yep. That's what Holy we should have done. Shit, why this, is another do dis- this is another discard outlet, too. We needed a, a better Fuck. discard outlet. Fuck. Why didn't we do that? Okay. I don't know. And it's black. If Fuck. we were going to play this Bridgevine list... Don't play Cathartic Reunion. Play it's just not worth it. Play Collective Brutality. Cards. This is much better than the Fuck, why didn't against we think the about meta that? too. I I don't I didn't think about swapping. It. What was in the sideboard? Oh, good point. Good point. Nature's claims and Bitter one D-Rod. Awesome. Oh, that's what we had. What the fuck? He's still got three dismember though. I don't get it. I don't, I don't either. Get Dark it. Blast. I was all about that. I can say two. This is very close Holy to our tweaking. Holy shit! Uh, did he put the green lands in there? The he's got a copper line. I'm not on that. I don't I don't like copper line. But he's got the two fetches. We're Did masters. you look at this list? No, I didn't get this one. Are you fucking with me? I'm dead serious. I did How not did we get make the one. same list that he 5 0 with and went 2 3? I don't know. We didn't have Gargadons and we didn't have Brutality. Maybe that was but it. But we were pretty close. We were super close. We were real close. We're geniuses. We might be brewers, but we're not very good at magic. Um, Something about being a shower. What is it? Shower, not a grower? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know oh, what I'm talking that's about. That's fucking it. awesome. <laughs> Oh, all right, where am I going to now? What do we have? We have all kinds of extra well, segments yeah, today. Yeah, no. So uh, the next thing that we actually wanted to talk about after who's on top was uh, the schedule change. Yeah. Okay. So Josh and I have been talking about this for about a week. You know, we really got into it a lot today. Um, over some sushi. Over some sushi. Some good ass sushi. It was. It was better. What roll was the best? Uh, the fucking one with the, the cone. The cone, cone was the roll best was one. Real good. Had these ones that had a spicy sauce and a jalapeno, like sitting like right under the uh-huh. spicy sauce. I really like that one. I know you're not a spicy sushi guy, but it's I like just spicy, spicy sushi. mayo. It's just fat. It just makes my tits big. Dude, the one when we were in. Um... Don't point at them. <laughs> Sorry, I was going at the Golden Girls. We were <laughs> They're at Golden your tits. Girls. We're, we were in uh, Columbus, or was it Cincy when we got? It was Columbus. We were in Kentucky. No, 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 no. Not that one. The one where we went with uh, Allison, Josiah, Artie. All oh, that. Yeah, yeah. We had sushi both times. Yes, right? and I was super hungry. And I, like, I was like, I can't wait. I need food right now. No, and no. I was like, can I just get like a bowl of rice? And she's like, yeah, do you want like some spicy mayo with it? I'm like, you're fucking amazing. Ooh. Yes. And it was good. I just mixed it. It was fucking great. Yeah, it's fat. Okay, enough of that. Yeah, well, fat, fuck off. All right? Tastes good. <laughs> Put it in your mouth. Shut up. You're right. Um... Yeah, so schedule change. Schedule change. So we normally do our Wednesday Magic Afternoon show at about 1, 1.30 on Wednesdays. 1.30. And then the Magic After Dark show is the following 1, 1.30 a.m. Mm-hmm. Uh, Thursday morning, you know? Which is right now. Right now. Right meow. Right meow. Right meow. And now I'm all hiccupy. Shit. No, you're good. Um, so we're... We've been playing with the idea of like, well, what if we moved Magic After Dark to about a nine o'clock segment? Nine thirty. Can't yeah, and we can't make it work right on now. Sunday on on fuck I'm tired Wednesday. So we're like, well, what other days work for us, and what might work leading into the other show and mm-hmm. stuff like that. So we're gonna look at uh, Tuesday. Yeah. So yesterday. Right. So we're gonna travel back in time and do episode fourteen 
yes, of Magic right. After Dark. That'd be sweet. And it might even be that we swap the two shows. Maybe we, we're going to test a few different things out in the coming month or so. We might do like the Moto stuff for Magic After Dark and do the. We might try the the podcasty type yes, new show during Magic Afternoon. During Magic Afternoon. Mm-hmm. So Wednesday's time slot staying the same right now. Yep. And we're going to take one of the shows, Magic After Dark, and we're going to slide that over to Tuesdays at 9.30 p.m. for yeah. a start time. And we're well, going to see how that goes. We just want to test different things. We really enjoy yeah. being up late with you guys. Um, but we want to be able to also bring... This This has been really good. We've Like Josh said, we've learned a bunch yeah, of stuff. It's, a lot of feedback. We get better at it and stuff like that. And uh, p- there, we get a lot of, like, I watch it on YouTube or I throw it onto the car on YouTube the next day or something yeah. like that. And that's really cool. That's very fun. Which, by the way, we have over 100 subscribers, over 100 subscribers now. Did we talk about this last week? I don't know. I no, we did. said we needed, like, a couple more. We needed one more. Yes. No, we needed two, and then somebody did it, like, right away. So we only needed... Anyways. Um, so now you can just go to YouTube slash C slash Mom's Basement Games and take you right there now. We got our own URL. Yep. I'm even going to, like, put it in this one's chat. That's YouTube dot cool. yeah, com so. slash C slash And Mom's so the number one thing that we were worried about was... Is Rash going to be able to watch us at 9.30? It was something that we did talk about, because Rash is always like our, our, our yeah. go-to kind of thing. Yeah, he's always there for us. I think I fucked up the thing. You you So, you yeah. talk about the, so, the show swapping. Yeah, so, Rash, we were worried about you. We wanted to make sure yep. that you were going to be there for us, because you're our number one guy. Um, but, yeah, so... Um, switching, I think switching the times around is going to help us uh, with viewership. Uh, and and actually help us to get um, just kind of get the show out there a little bit more. Uh, so that's something that we're we're trying to do better. Um, we're we're really proud of like what the content that we're bringing to everybody, and so we want to get it out to to more people. So that's that's why we're gonna switch around things for the next upcoming month. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you uh, if you do watch, um, you know, just make sure that you're subscribed to our our YouTube page and our Twitch, and you'll never miss anything. So. Right. Um, as we grow our viewership, uh, you guys can be there to, to help us grow too. So. I wonder if it's like that. Um, but yeah, um, Rash, we're there for you, bub. Yeah, we were concerned. And we also talked about um, having you on, uh, we're going to Discord you in at some point. Yeah, we're going to do a little interview with Rash and, and all that. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so I got the link. I wrote it wrong the first time, I guess. There it is. So there it is. It's in the chat. It is HTTPS colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash c slash mom's basement games good there you go so you can hit that up um but yeah so we wanted to find a better a potentially better time slot to get more viewers yeah so the good thing is like interacting with us we really like the interaction from the community it's really enjoyable the the good thing is is that we're we're, we've been consistent and that's something that we want to continue to do because that's how we're going to grow is consistency so um yeah yeah so um, that's that one, and oh, now also, we can go into our first of our pre-recorded, right? Correct. Did, I'm sorry, you had one. I'm sorry. No, I just had one more thing. <laughs> sure. Um, so we also talked about making a Facebook group mm. um, for so glad you just for that. the show. Yeah. So we do have a lot of things going on with the show. Um, there are things that um, we can talk about. Also, um, you guys can let us know. You can drop in the group like, "Hey, this person did well this week. Mm-hmm. Talk about this person on the show. Do our work for us." Is that what it sounded like? A little bit. God, I'm a piece of shit. It was just a little bit. No, I, I don't. I didn't. I didn't want to do that. But like, <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Listen. So, I mean, people can just, you know, they can say, "Hey, shout out to this guy," and then, right, right, kind of like and that. I don't want can, them to like. Then we can be like, "Oh, let's reach out and talk to, to that person." And people can drop pictures in, and be like, "Hey, took some pictures at this event. Check my boy out." Mm-hmm. And then we could copy and paste that shit into the show. So Maybe. Like, People, yeah, we need help. Maybe this becomes our our Discord. Because remember, like, Gavin and the other guys are like, you guys need to make a Discord for this and that. Correct. Instead which of is Facebook Twitch groups. Disc group. Twitch uh, disc? Yeah, I don't know. Twitch Discord he was talking about. Well, it doesn't have to be. Tw- uh, anyways, uh, and people can share and, and leave photos and stuff like that, and we can check that. That's Maybe that's what, what we do. I fucking just said. I'm good. Holy shit. I did this earlier to you, and I was like, Josh, I just said that. But you can't say, yeah, that sounds great, and repeat what I said, because then you're stealing from me. <laughs> it was my idea. I have it on video. Fuck yourself. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, tinnitus. 
Uh, I just dropped in, and I don't know what this is, to be honest, but you guys seem like, well, we're fun. I'm Chris, this is Josh, we do a fucking weekly show, we talk about magic news and stuff like that. You've already missed one of the fun segments, no, but... No, you haven't, you have missed shit, this guy's a... He's, we he's talk about finance, off, decks that are coming up, we do uh, local yokels, which is our, like, we're in Michigan, we're in southeastern Michigan, yep. we talk about Michigan players and how they're kicking ass and stuff like that, yep. and uh, it, it, can we, do you want me to go into it? Yeah, fucking tell tell this perfect, guy what's up. Perfect transition mm -hmm. into our first pre-recorded interview. So, uh, you sponsor Mr. Jake Tilk, yeah, very me, very well known uh, at First F and M on Twitter. Fun kid. Mm -hmm. Let me, I guess, give some background. Please. On him. So, uh, Jake Tilk uh, has been a local in southeastern Michigan, um, and he started playing Yu-Gi-Oh about age 15. He is going to be he's now so embarrassed that you told people that. Yeah, he's going to be yeah, like, he's like oh, 23, 24. Yeah, he's 24. Um, so he's uh, he's been moving up. Um, he's really proud of how he's been doing. Um, we just started um, sponsorship about three months ago. Yeah, so and he keeps picked, getting better. Yeah, we picked him up for sponsorship, and then almost right away uh, he made the Pro Tour. And then, I, not to say like, I think we helped him do that. You, I don't think we did so much, but I think him getting sponsorship because he was sponsored through someone else, and they dropped him mm -hmm. because they couldn't afford. They they dropped everything. They were they were bad at what they were doing. Yeah, and to be so honest. he he had multiple sponsors, but who knows? Like maybe he could have lost a little bit of you know steam. So and just say like, oh, well, I don't have a sponsor right now. Maybe I can't afford to go to this event, or or maybe I can't do all this travel. And now somebody's helping me out. Somebody right. believes in me again. Yep. So that always I, helps. That's the key, because like I've known Tilt for quite a while now, and yeah. he's he's a really good Magic player. You get him some practice. You talk to him about some things and stuff like that, and it just all clicks really quick. He's a smart kid, um, but like he starts losing or, or like yeah. it's it shakes his confidence a little bit, and it gets inside that's of his everybody. head and stuff like that. yeah. So so you guys like we're constantly always trying to support him, picking him up like Jake. You're good. You're better than mm -hmm. this man. Like keep it up you know you'll get there and every single time he does he just gets this big ass smile and he's like thank you to all these people that you know help pick me up and i love mm -hmm. that so let's bounce into that and Absolutely. uh we'll catch you live in a little bit i'll respond to tonight is here in the uh yeah, right the after. chat yeah. yeah all right we'll see you in a little bit yep what's up buddy uh, what's up baby get in here get, in here. <laughs> get, get out of here. here get out You're of here like stop out loving on me we're, hey, we're sharing a, an earbud, first of all. I don't need to hold you also. You thought it was cute for some reason. I told you to go get your own fucking headphones. How would you tell on me? <laughs> because you, you tried to throw me under the bus. Oh, we thanks, do. bro. Thanks. Uh, so, Magic After Dark, uh, Tilk, this is your first time joining us. Yep. Uh, many more times to come, but um, we just wanted to talk to you about how you've been doing lately. You've been pretty impressive, so... Kicking butt. Tell, yeah, tell us what's proud going on. proud of you. On. Well, first of all, thanks for having me on the show, yeah, boys. Absolutely. Um, second of all, so lately, I mean, okay, uh, I hit bronze, so that was kind of sweet. Congrats. So, official, recognized, professional-ish kind of thing. <laughs> That's what you've been Wouldn't working have been able for. To do it, you know, if it weren't for my boy Josh at Mom's Basement Games and his brother Chris, of course, and all my boys at Pando raising me ever since, you know, I was a little uh, little tilkling. A yeah. little tilkling, so, yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I mean, Magic's been going pretty well. Um, the grind's been constant, as you guys know. Yep. So, uh, what what was your uh, what was your last um, performance that you had? My last performance yeah. was last weekend, GP Orlando. Finished ten five. T tad bit disappointed. Um, I'm not disappointed in the fact that I got bronze. I'm disappointed in the fact that I I started off eight zero in the tournament. You were and I don't I don't have that image, but you were you were first place going into day two. Yeah, first place. Uh, my breakers were insane. I uh, I had a really tight match with Ben Stark. I beat him. Um, real nice guy. And uh, I mean th that was pretty much day one. And just day two was just a it was a disappointment. And I hope something like that doesn't happen to me again. But I'm assuming it will. It has like, to. It has to. <laughs> yeah, like those are yeah, those yeah. are the breaks. Yeah. So I mean, this this was a standard GP. It was standard GP. What did, uh, what did you play? I played black red aggro. Don't set yourself up for that, you, <laughs> you piece of shit. It's the deck that we've been talking about for like two months straight so, on the okay, show. So okay, yeah, okay. Of course we're awesome, but we know what's up. Tell everybody what was going on behind your deck choice because number one, you didn't believe in it, right? At first, you you had you had a little. 
You were going to play something else. Yeah, some else. wonders. Yeah, you were going to play something else. So what were you going to play? Okay. So I kind of like <laughs> okay. sent out like a, a like, like a mini bad signal for some um, Nexus of Fates like the day before. And it's because I wanted to try it before that tournament, before GP Orlando, because I wanted to make sure that the deck wasn't what I wanted to play or that it was what I wanted mm -hmm. to play, because yep. I wasn't really sure. Like, I, I just, like, heard from all of my, like, very good Magic playing friends that this deck is insane, like, absolutely bonkers, right? And I'm like, okay, so why am I going to play the deck I've been playing for months, which is Black Red? Um, and, like, I like Black Red because it's, like, 50-50 on everything. It cued me for my first Pro Tour. Um, spoiler. <laughs> yeah, spo spoiler alert, it, I want a PTQ of Black it, Red. It cued you for your first Pro Tour, mm -hmm. and it... It locked you for bronze. Yeah. This deck's been so, doing wonders for you. Yeah, so you're happy with this boy. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's a great deck. It's. It, it's. It can beat anything. That's why I like it. I, and you guys know I'm very biased towards playing red cards as it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So, like, if I get to attack with things with haste or, like, get them real quick by curving out, I'm all about it. So That's Black just good red, magic. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. And so the reason that I didn't play Fog was, A, because I couldn't find Nexus of Fates. And B, because I didn't actually have any experience with the deck, even if I were to get Nexus of Faith. So playing Fog was just a bad idea, and I'm glad I didn't play Fog. A, because I know this deck's really complicated to play at a high level. And B, because I might not have locked Bronze otherwise. Yep. So the moral of the story here is what we've been telling everybody. Black Red Aggro Standard. Well, no, not that. It's <laughs> that's, just... that's all we've been telling everybody. <laughs> yeah, is. Play something that you know. Yeah. Number one. Get master a deck. Yeah, play something you know. Play something you're confident with. Uh, even playing at a high level, you can't just continue to switch decks every single week or every other, or let's say every month. It does have. It does take, take its toll. Like, yep. The best deck might come around, but like just because you're playing what was the best deck and is now the second best deck, yeah. doesn't mean that like if you jump ship that you're automatically going to... like kick ass with that deck because it's it's new it's fresh it's got different nuance to it different sequencing like we were doing with the um bridge vine stuff today on the show mm -hmm. yep um what did i want to ask talk about it so did you play against fog a whole lot or like what did you see i played it that you're all yep what's up buddy uh, what's up baby get in here get in here <laughs> get out get of here. here get out of here stop loving on me we're, hey, we're sharing a, an earbud, first of all. I don't need to hold you also. You thought it was cute for some reason. I told you to go get your own fucking headphones. Why would you tell on me? <laughs> because you, you tried to throw me under the bus. Oh, we thanks, do. bro. Thanks. Uh, so, Magic After Dark. Uh, Tilk, this is your first time joining us. Yep. Uh, many more times to come, but um, we just wanted to talk to you about... Any flash forward? Yeah, I'm going to try and flash forward, and I spoiled my surprise. Like, now you see that. I hit a button... I'm a big uh, so dummy. I'm sorry. I hit a button. Uh, I hit a so button. That's okay. I can get this uh, fixed. Just come, give me a minute. Uh, Here, pause that for me, Josh. Sorry, guys. I hit a button. Yeah. We're sitting here laughing about stuff, and I'm goofing off. Uh, what's up, baby? God, I could just watch that a bunch of times. It's such a good opening. Just tilt, just saying, just screaming, what's up, such baby? Such a good opening. Okay, so... I'm basically going to go like this and go over here. Hopefully hopefully I'm I'm right about where we left off. My bad guys. I'm sorry. I hit a button. I'm going to cut back just a few minutes here. This should be okay. We're going to get you some audio and uh then then we'll be back. Sorry. I'm going to get another beer. <laughs> get that PBR. I'm going to get another Paps Blue Ribbon. Oh, I fucked up. I'm so sorry. Where's my pause button? Okay. Because we're getting this mic now, Josh. Done. You done goofed up, A. A. Ron. A. A. Ron, you fucked up. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I got this. Audio is bad now. Way too low on the interview. Yeah, I'm gonna fix it. My Left bad. Click. Left click of fury, my brother said. <laughs> Left click of fury again. He got us again. Because Tilt gave him information that was incorrect. Even though I got he didn't this, know baby. At the time that it was incorrect. 
Well, I, just go ahead I, and I didn't say yes or no, but yeah. like you yeah, just let him. Um, um, and then, then the other one, the, you got the hidden card error, the uh, search fast canter, right? Like you got to look at the set of four the first time and say, we're going to take that out. That's not going to be part of it. Well, what they had me do was I looked. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I hit a button. Yeah. I don't know exactly where we were now. All right. Like, so what do you what do you, where do you uh, want me to go? With the thing, Josh. I'm yeah, sorry. No, I'm you sorry. didn't. So hit uh, where we were like right right <laughs> Thanks, here. Thanks, Rash. I love you, baby. So you want about you like five minutes in, four minutes in? Let's do four minutes in. Okay, we're gonna go four minutes in replay, and I won't touch it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're supposed to touch it though. That's uh, how you. That's how you fix it. <laughs> that's great. Okay, let's let's flip it back. Here you go, guys. Because I might not have locked Browns otherwise. Yeah. So the moral of the story here is what we've been telling everybody. Black red aggro standard. Well, no, not that. It's <laughs> that's, just that's all we've been telling everybody. <laughs> yeah, is play something that you know. Yeah. Number one. Get master a deck. Yeah, play something you know. Play something you're confident with. Uh, even playing at a high level, you can't just continue to switch decks every single week or every other, or let's say every month. It does have. It does takes take its toll. Like. Yep. The best deck might come around, but like just because you're playing what was the best deck and is now the second best deck, yeah. doesn't mean that like if you jump ship that you're automatically gonna like kick ass with that deck because it's it's new, it's fresh, it's got different nuance to it, different sequencing like we were doing with the um, Bridgevine stuff today on the show. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, what did I want to ask? Talk about it. So, did you play against Fog a whole lot, or like what did you see? I played against Fog actually twice. So the first time was Ben Stark, and that was a really close match. Uh, he actually got two warnings in our match. Oh. And uh, I got a warning myself. Nice. <laughs> Get him. So the, fir the first time was because when he searched for Azkanta, like he activated it, he looked at five cards and chose a card. Mm. And I, I called the judge. And then uh, the next time was so because after our like 20 minute judge call or whatever that we had it was like a ridiculously long judge call trying to figure out like if he drew all the cards at once or if it was one by one um the second the second time was we didn't know if he activated to fairy so he's like did i activate to fairy and i'm like i don't know he's like activate to fairy and i'm like oh wait i chain were alerted so you did activate it oh so, so we already got a warning for yeah, that yeah. one yeah yeah it's uh communication communication yeah. not a maintain that one's a communication violation because Till gave him information that was incorrect, even though he didn't know at the time that it was incorrect. Well, I said, I don't know. Out. I didn't say yes or no, but, yeah. like, yeah. I just let him. Um, um, and then, then the other one, the, you got the hidden card error, the uh, search fast canter, right? Like, you got to look at the set of four the first time and say, we're going to take that out. That's not going to be part of it. Well, what they had me do was I looked at all five cards. Oh, five. I'm sorry, five cards. And then I chose which one I wanted shuffled back in the yep. deck. Hidden Carter. Gorgeous. So, so I put Nexus of Fate back in the deck and we lost. <laughs> nice, dude. Um, <laughs> Get him down. Yeah, oh, sometimes baby. those are the breaks. I, I, I mean, I wasn't like, he wasn't trying to cheat me. It was fine. No, no, right. Yeah. We had a good time. Right. Um, good. And it was a very close match of Magic. Like, but uh, so as far as like, that was the deck going into the tournament that I was fearing the most because recently I haven't had too much time to practice so i haven't really i didn't play against the deck and I, as soon as i sat down across from ben stark and he was playing fog i was like crap i yep. should be playing instant injury in my sideboard right yep um i actually didn't end up playing insult injury in my deck and i don't think that you need it against fog i think duressing their early game search for as as canta and duressing their Teferi is the most important thing in the matchup. Yeah, that's what helps them so, go long and get yeah. card draw and stuff like that, card selection. Did you yeah, so. do you add any Bane Fires now to the, your Black Red? No, I haven't. It's a, it's a consideration going forward to play one on the board. But um, the reason that you don't want to play Insult to Injury in your sideboard for Black Red, and this is just my personal opinion, is that it's too narrow of a card. So, like, I don't like playing narrow cards that don't hit several matchups at once. What does he know? I don't I don't know. It's like he could be playing a, a, a drag street racer or crasher <laughs> or whatever. Hey, so after the Pro Tour, uh, Nexus of Fate was the boogeyman. Yeah. It was the literal boogeyman, right? Everyone was like, this, Everybody was this so deck's just going to take it. over standard. Yeah, and how many top-aided? Just uno? Just one, right? 
I don't, I don't know. Did his, you even look at the top? His day two wasn't so great. He didn't. You were so. It was so painful. It was so painful. You just <laughs> you left. bounced out, and you're like, uh, "What?" I'm event? proud of you for playing what all five or all fifteen rounds, though. What? He was like, "What event was that?" That I was a GP. Yeah, I guess that was a GP. Wait, I made bronze. Okay. We bounced out, got Mexican boys. But anyway, so the rest of the matchups in the tournament, a significant portion of my matchups were actually mirrors. And I think playing the black red mirror well is really important because A, it's a very Always. popular deck. Probably the most popular deck at the tournament. For I think sure. it was like thirty three percent of day two or something. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that like actually all of my opponents sideboarded wrong for the mirror. And it gave me a significant edge. So like my deck wasn't actually as prepared for the mirror as like most of their other decks were, but I beat them because they sideboarded like incorrectly. So, so you, you guys worked on that a lot. You, Brian Carey, um, Tyler Acovera, you guys worked on that cyborg plan a lot. And I started using it at Nationals. And it was it was really good. It was very smooth. Props to you guys for working on that. Actually, I have to give props here to my boy Zach. Zach oh, Zach Kine. changed it up? My, my friend Zach Kine is actually who gave me my cyborg guide. Okay. And that is how I won the PTQ with Black Red, is he gave me cyborg guide. It's, like, perfect. It's, like, flawless. So, like... A lot of these people are leaving in, um, like, Bo Matt Courier in the mirror, and I think they're absolutely insane because, like, I'm gonna about to play the Whirly Boy and just get him. Yeah. And then uh, a lot of people leave in Harder Quran in the mirror, which I also disagree with because that's that's sort of asinine, right? Uh, in in the Black Red mirror, you're not you don't really have time to block. So like, how are you gonna have time to crew and then block? Okay. So like, if you waste your time playing a Harder Quran. And then playing a creature is going to crew hard to cry. I'm just going to braid that boy. He's done. Yeah, um, braid's still so. very popular right now. What does he know? This boy? Yeah. Uh, this boy just went undefeated on day one of the most recent standard GP. I he think good. he might know he a good. thing or two. He good. Just, just maybe one or two things. Yeah, he good. yeah we, we're real proud of you, Jake. So, okay. You've been doing well, sir. So, other than just talking about how awesome you are, tell us how <laughs> like what the future holds. What's the going future. on? Yeah, what's what's okay. what's up next? I mean, you you, you, you have a queue for the pro tour. You queued for the pro tour. You did really well at the past GP mm -hmm. in standard. Where you go next? All right, from here. Yeah, where That's you a go? Good question. Okay, so <laughs> what do you want to do? Content creation's about to start back up. Right? Oh yeah, you're gonna be, see mom's basement games like flooded everywhere. You know, <laughs> shout out to my boy. Nice. Get him. right here on the shirt. Get Get him. Him. I see Look familiar. at that it's shirt, familiar. baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you good, you good. So. Yeah, so we're about to see Mom's Basement Games plastered all over my... I have a new, like, podcast-ish series coming out. I'm working on it. We're, we're working on how we want to do this. We tried to film an episode. It's kind of a fail, but, like, I might have it edited and upload it. Um, and then also, as far as content creation goes, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch again, which I'm excited to do. Because ha I've had man traders for months, so I'm just, like, paying for nothing. So I might yeah. as well just, like... Start getting in the stream, you know. I might be able to like teach some people a thing or two, and like, or maybe they can teach me a thing or two. That'd be great. Absolutely. And then um, I'm also going to be attending a lot of GPs. So in December, three of my points roll off. I well, six of my points roll off. I get three three pro points for attending the pro tour, which put me in seven. So I need to get three more pro points to keep bronze in December. And um, my plan is just to hit some more GPs with my my partner Brian Carey. Shout out to him. Uh, Brian has done a lot for me in terms of magic, and he's a great friend. He recently so, got bronze as well, right? He's at like 13 points, 12 points now? Oh, it was a race. He beat me to bronze, though. <laughs> yeah. so, he almost, I, we had a almost race. made top eight of the Nationals, too. He mm. lost to Owen Turnwall and is winning in the last round. Yeah. Yep. So Brian and I kind of have like our little hidden competitions, but like it's great because like whenever I want to work on something, Brian's there to work on it with me, and... Um, like, we have our little, little hidden competitions, like, who's going to hit bronze first? Who's going to go the PT first? <laughs> you know, who's going to top eight a GP first? And, like, it, it drives me to get better, and I'm sure it drives him to get better, too. Um, we also played a lot with uh, Tyler Ecavaria, who you mentioned. Love that guy. Sad to see that he's gone. Yeah. But um, I hope he to... Uh, moved out you know, to uh, California. He's in San Diego now. Exactly. It's quite a trip. Hope to see him pretty soon, because uh, I actually loved practicing with him and traveling with him. All the guys at Panda are great. Everyone at Panda's wonderful, actually. It's a wonderful magic community. Thank it's you. growing every day. Yep. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe, maybe final question. I've A lot of people have been talking about, like, 
a banning in standard. They're like, God, Chain Whirler. When's the banning coming to up? Teferi. We have one coming up uh, like the 20th, I think, of this month. Okay. And I don't think it'll be anything because we're, we're like a month, month and a half. Yeah, it's the 20th. It's well, this upcoming just, Monday. We're going we're gonna to rotate. Rotation. Right in, exactly. Yeah, we're rotating into a new set, so, so it's wide open. First of all, do you think that you'll get a banning for standard um, on this upcoming Monday? Or do you, if, if you were going to ban something, what would you ban? Okay. I don't think that we're going to get a banning, right? Okay. I, don't, I don't think that we're going to. I just think that Nexus of Fate should be banned because it doesn't create like when you're playing against that fog deck I, if some of you out there probably haven't played against it when you're playing against the fog deck it doesn't feel like you're playing actual magic you're just like playing moto and you press f6 and you're like okay am i dead to, to fairy nexus of fate right and you know i don't think that the nexus of fate's going to get banned because it's not overpowered but like it's a I weird card, kind of though. Ruins, yeah, it's it way more ruins limited. Magic, though. It's yeah, not it's, actual interactive. Because that was the buy box promo, right? Yeah. So, but I don't think it's going to be anything either. I think you're right, though. Yeah, I don't think it is either. I mean, you have to look at standings. Like, yeah, it did like dominate the Pro Tour, right? The oh yeah, it was all over the Pro Tour. Yeah, but, but like, it's is I mean, it doing it, anything yeah, else? Yeah, like even at the GP that you were at, again, I'm I'm almost positive because I think I'm the only one that looked at standings, top eight. Out of the three of us, you're you're the like research guy on yeah. Wednesdays. Yeah, so like, I think only one copy um, touched top eight. So, I mean, when you when you have that happen, it's one or two copies. Maybe it's two copies now that I think of it. But <laughs> anyways, you, you know, it's not it's not taking over the format, and that's what it has to do in order to get a banning. Right. Well, right. there were a lot of them at the GP. I just don't think that um, they didn't they didn't do as well as they need to. A because that deck is so. Yes. difficult to play correctly yes um and i feel like as soon as people start mastering the deck it'll put up better results because i gotta tell you firsthand that deck is a, a horror to play against like it's it's scary to play against because like you don't know like when you're gonna do anything like you try to you're like attack for 17 they're like fog and then they're like search for another fog so it's a pain in the butt it's it's not interactive magic and that makes me feel like you know it's not a thing that you should be having in the game and standards yeah. it kind of ruins the fun makes yep. people not want to play standard would you and then say also would you say anywhere, if anywhere it's more of like a modern like it would be more acceptable in modern <clears throat> it would definitely be like more of a modern-esque deck but i don't think it's good enough to play in I don't modern think so either. um the thing that i want to i want to note here is that i have a lot of friends who are very good in magic who played the deck in the gp and they said that the deck is very medium but I'm unsure if it's whether or not they had time to master the deck or not. Mm -hmm. So, sure. that, to be determined if the deck's actually bonkers or not. But to me, it's it's just not fun to play against and shouldn't be in standard. Cool. cool. Nice. Well, again, congrats on your recent 10-5, um, ten, ten but all the way into day show, two. Did you show the picture where he's cheesing? Oh, it? I totally forgot. So they took yeah. a photo. Show I the totally, picture I'm where so he's cheesing. Oh, no, we're no, going no, to the photo. No, this no. is the best part. Get I got to save it for the last. Fucking get him. So they take oh. this photo <laughs> at the end of day one. And uh, and, and what did you say, Tilk? You didn't know they were going to have a coverage team? Well, okay. So the I was told by my friend who's a judge. His name's Max. That uh, the coverage team missed their flight, right? Mm. And um, yeah, this thing was not. There was no. I didn't the only think I was gonna impressive. get my picture taken day two. I like woke up late because like I had my buys and slept in the previous day. I was out partying with the boys in Orlando, and like I didn't. I, you know, I was scrubbing that day, boys. Yeah. So, so yep. I, I, I look, look, you look I, handsome. I love it. You Every, look yeah, you look you look fine, Tilk. But like everyone else here is just so chill, no big deal. And Tilk's just a little bit like. Like, oh, I didn't do my hair. Like, what do I do with my hands? Yeah, no, no, no. He, that, the look on his face <laughs> says, hey, I'm in, I'm in first right now. It's adorable, and yeah. everybody else is like, I'm not in first. I'm not in first. I don't stand a chance. Yeah, yeah the funny thing about that is I was in first, right? I'm going to round nine of day two mm -hmm. at first seed, and I get paired down to someone who had a draw because I, like, looked at the decks in my bracket, and I was like, okay, there's no fog. I'm safe. I'm going to win every match I play. <laughs> I got paired down to fog, and then I lost <laughs> right away. <laughs> Crusher stand. Yeah. Picked up my first loss, dude. Could not draw that duress in game three. Mm. Don't know where they were hiding from me at. No. But... All right, brother. Well, thank you for joining Absolutely. us for our first like 
pre-recorded for the Magic yeah. After Dark show. Many more like to our, come. Yeah, we'll we'll get you on this more often now. Okay, buddy. Oh yeah, thank you guys for having me on. Yeah. Don't forget to follow Mom's Basement Games and Pando MTG Chris. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Get, and, get in there for well, that first F and M. That first F and M, baby. Oh yeah, you can follow first F and M. You know, wait, where where are we going? <laughs> you have to go that oh, way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, down there get because em. this thing's all like upside down. But yeah. don't forget to follow us all on Twitter. And thank you for stopping by. Yeah. yeah. All right, brother. We'll talk Adi- to you. Adios, folks. First interview in the in the books. It's pretty fucking funny. Yeah. Uh, how many fog decks made it into the top eight, Josh? One, two, yeah, so I was like, first I said zero. one. Yeah, first I said one. Then I was like, maybe it was two. It was fucking zero. Yeah. <laughs> Get that out of here. Sorry I fucked up that video for a oh, hot second great. there, guys. I what scrambled would, what to make everything first, else What would our work. first video be without fucking up? Let, yeah, that's what I said when we were off. We, we learn from our mistakes, right? That's the important and part. And it gave me more time to get another beer, bitch. It's true. Like, we, we might have been snacking back so I'm, here. I'm proud of you. While we're re-watching that, that interview. Yeah. Thanks, dude. I appreciate that. I appreciate sure. that. I'm proud of you. All right. We're going to get rid of uh, this one here. So, um, you know, uh, the token interview went good. Yeah. Uh, we're really proud of that guy, and uh, so we're again we're gonna st- start uh, getting just more interviews in. Yeah, yeah. Um, I got one coming up later with Brenda Smith that I should have recorded. Sure, I'm talking to her for like three three to five minutes. And I'm like, this is fucking gold. Why am I not just breaking out the mic? And I didn't want to make her repeat it. And then it just kept going and going and building. I was like, this is fucking great. So yeah. I want to try and retell. Yeah, her paraphrase story. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so now we're going into we're financing. Oh, uh, we got a finance. We got a financier. Yeah, we got to let you guys know what's going on with uh, the finance game. Mm, we in it, baby. Uh, we can't. We can't ever let you guys down with that because uh, a lot of times when we do talk about things uh, each week, uh, the trend line keeps it continues to follow what we say. The Breitling trend line. Yes, your that's your favorite. It's crash and burn. Get the fuck um, out of here, Brian. Um, also, with uh, picking up things when they're low, we want you guys. Yes. We want you guys to be able to pick up things when they're low. Uh, we want you to be able to get out of things when they're high. Uh, your bridge from belows. Those things are at thirty-five bucks today. And we've played this deck. We tried giving one away on Magic Afternoon we tried. today uh, for our bingo, we but we we fucked up. Nobody actually bingo. So check this out. I think um, this is still in here. Is it still in there? I think this is still in here, so we it can is. grab this and I can just pull it over here for a hot second. Mm-hmm. So we had we had bingo for the Magic Afternoon show. Yeah, when we played Bridgevine. Yeah, and uh, we barely missed out. Like these are kind of our. Like our this we haven't hit the four one right these are our two yeah. normal records right now like oh, we, oh five three two and, and two, we three. went two three and we it's went just two like, three fuck oh, we might even went one four we've been playing we've been playing poorly for so many weeks we, now it just it all fucking blends together <laughs> we went back over this after the show and I think that yeah. there were like almost four is either three or four potential bingo somebody thought they but got they it. all got fucked up by yeah but we went record. through and you, it wasn't literally impossible to fucking win yep. to bingo and so we're gonna adjust that maybe we'll go up to five and we'll put one of each of the records or we'll just get yep. records out of there we'll just do more funny yeah fucking we're gonna shit. we're gonna give away uh we're at some point we're gonna give that bridge fr- uh from below to you guys so yeah, and then we're gonna do there. we're gonna keep doing giveaways like yeah. uh Chris and I, we both uh, we both do well enough, and we're both proud Aww. to give things away. Oh yeah, and it helps us grow. It's people, fun. yeah, people it's are fun. like, oh cool, I want to watch Bingo. I have a chance to win something. I want to watch Bingo. We are old fucks. So Dude, I walked into City <laughs> cool. Hall, okay. uh, to get my pass. What pass? Uh, to go to the beach. Okay. With my daughter. Sure. There was a bingo going on in a, City Hall. A, a bingo game, yeah. You think you can get me like the times for that? Like, you know, I got I got some open time. <laughs> yeah, probably your balls are super tall. <laughs> tall. I meant long. <laughs> I know what you um, meant. I meant. So yeah, so there was bingo going on, and I told my daughter, I said, twenty dollars, you go in there and yell bingo. She would. She Old ladies would chase her down. She looked at me like, Dad, are you fucked? Are you stupid? It's a good thing that somebody in your family has some fucking <laughs> brains. Tall balls, McGee. <laughs> don't want to step on those. <laughs> oh okay, shit! So finance winners, I'm sorry. winners, finance. Yeah, so we'll get that bridge from below out. So uh, you want to go into this one? Yeah, insidious okay. dreams, uh, nimble obstructionist. I got a good story about nimble obstructionist. I, I do lived too. it. I lived it. We're not doing judges' corner this week, yeah. but. 
suspend triggers and nibble nimble obstructionist. It's gotta weird. Be, he's got to be a judge right now. That's I'm it. No, that's it. Real. That's it. Go look it up. All it's, right. Wait. No. 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 Scroll back. Oh, you scroll want back. this one? I'm that's sorry. nutty. Insidious dreams. That was a dollar fifty <laughs> rare. This doesn't oh, look at the baseline is like literally in the toilet. It was three bucks. Yeah. Holy fucking titties. Did someone just do a full buyout? And then everyone's like, oh, I can put these back on line. Yeah, it was at, it touched three ninety nine. Did you see that? Yeah. It touched four. Stop. I love when that happens. So it's hilarious. Dumb. Uh yeah, so this card is actually not really playable. It's commander. No. 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 Commander. No. I know. But oh, okay. I'm telling everybody who's watching right now that you can't play this card in Commander because yeah. it doesn't actually make a slot. I've played a fuck ton of Commander. This card doesn't make it. Uh, you you can maybe play it in like a reanimator deck because you get to pitch shit. As an additional cost, discard X cards from your hand, search your library for X cards, then shuffle your library, put those cards on top of it. It's a four drop. Discombat damage, put that card from your hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's got, it's got a, little, a little combo action with the sure, new ninja. Sure. Ninja rats. So... All right, so then we scroll down, and uh, obviously, so what we try, what Chris and I try to do every week is we try to stick with what's trending. Okay, so uh, again, always we want to give the people what they want. Uh, we want to play decks that people want to see that are also hot. Uh, so this week uh, we let everybody choose, and uh, Bridge from Below was one of the ones. And then obviously you can see that you know we can we can still talk about it day of because yeah. it's it's what's hot. So, uh, Bridge from Below is at 34 bucks right now. It's spiked. It's going to continue. I believe it's going to continue to stay spiked. Um, so, again, um, make sure that you you move those if you have extra copies of them. Um, and you pick them up if you want to play the deck. Like, so, you're just, you're getting, you know, sometimes, it, oops. Both, you know, we're on both sides of the coin. If you're a player, sometimes you see what's hot. You see what uh, people are playing. And it spiked like venge vines. Venge vines are like a billion D dollars. Um, they're like forty. Exactly fucking... a billion. Oh no, they're like a billion D and like a billion D and one. Yeah. Uh, I just want to real quick show off yeah. how we choose our decks. You know, yes. we put out a poll in the Mom's Basement Games group, yeah, and we Facebook. might adjust this because we were saying Discord maybe. Mm -hmm. um, and we get votes, and this week was insanely. Bridge we had, yeah, we had over 60 people, I believe, vote. Just vote. I mean, I voted, so maybe, you know, that, that doesn't You skewed count. the whole thing because you I, voted you for Bridgevine. You actually talked shit to me about that today. <laughs> I was good. like, I, was like I voted for uh, Bridgevine, and you're like, you can't vote. <laughs> In that stupid high-pitched voice. I'm what? Like, Fuck you. You can't do that? Oh. Uh -huh. Um. So, yeah, Bridges, like, we, I think the, the deck is fun. It's enjoyable. I think we talked about, like, it's a good open deck. It's a good... FNM deck it doesn't a, seem really consistent. Still needs tweaking. It does need some tweaking, and it needs a it needs a high level uh, high level player. So I think if, that these are going to come back down around twenty or eighteen. So if you're pushing it off a little bit, you could even get some trades off your buddies. Yeah. So yeah, go ahead and move that shit to the bird. Uh, okay. So nimble obstructionist. This is a very cool one. So uh, Hooglin. Oh. Uh, I need mean Voldemort. Don't say Hooglin uh, to Chris, ever. It's, it's not that it's I Baltimore. don't like Jeff Hooglin. It's not that I don't like him. I can't believe it's you just said that, his name. It's just that sometimes he does he does some things that are just like, dude, that's just so unnecessary. Why? Hey. And so, like... It's nipple I get a little. I get a little tilted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, tonight's... Oh, I should, I should have read it. I was doing a little bit of a U where I read the thing, but I don't say oh, it. Oh. Why didn't we say shade, nipple? Shade, baby. Thanks, bud. So this is... Um, this is Stiflebird, right? Is the other nickname? Sure, Stiflebird's fine. And Stiflebird's up there. Stiflebird, from what I've been seeing, has been getting a little bit of action in Legacy, but now the focus is like, well, let's start doing modern shit with it. Well, he is a wizard, and uh, one of our first fun decks that we played uh, a couple months ago mm -hmm. was Wizards. Because mm -hmm. we're like, oh, let's play a fun deck. It'll be cool, and then we'll do a, and then we'll do serious decks and. You know, we're up, we're way past that now. Now it's every other week. But, yeah, so... Um, Pro Tour Richie Thompson played this deck tonight yes. at, my, at my Wednesday win cash event. You just you got to put his full name and throw Pro Tour in yeah, there. Yeah, because he's Pro Tour Richie Thompson. He's that's, the best. That's his name. Yeah, we had his, uh, he had, we had his large body on the show a few weeks ago. Yeah. So if you guys he roll back... He won 28 bucks playing this deck tonight. Yeah, you guys can roll back and see that. But uh, he's a great player, uh, great guy. Great and, singer. And, yeah, he, oh, he sings his fucking <laughs> fat ass off. I love him. I love him. Uh, but yeah, so 
Uh, scroll back up. I want oh, to show. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, you're, you're just moving too I'm, far. I'm reading. Right? I'm just. I'm just so excited. Yeah. I actually yelled at him about the wandering fumaroles being in the main. I said, "Do you really need? Like, are you really running two or three of these? Like, can you just run I, one?" I I was running one back with the kill fiend. It was just like people wipe your board and shit. Well, yeah, just like, and he's like kill you with my land. Yeah, and he's like, yeah, he's like. Uh, modern is one on the back of Manlands. I think this is one of the mistakes we made when we played a wizard list. We didn't play Mutavolt. We didn't play Mutavolt. Of course. Yep. Yeah, so, and, and he said that. Uh, modern is usually one on the back of Manlands, and that's very true, because once you one for one for one each other... Yep. All that's left all is... All that's left is your lands, and if you're not playing Field of Ruin... Well, then you flood, you done like, fucked up, somebody that I know. All right, scroll up, back up. Up, 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 all right, up. so... Uh, nimble obstructionist, nipple yeah, nipple. I almost said it. Burn right. the nipples. Uh, nipple obstructionist uh, did spike after wizards did well, and it won. It, it won the entire uh, SCG event that we in Indy. God, I hope not. I don't like this bird that much. I don't want it to do that well. <laughs> Whatever. Is, maybe it'll be. I'm, this maybe is I'm my brightling out, all over again. Maybe this is fake news. Maybe I'm just giving out the wrong news right now. But <laughs> I'm, I mean, I was at this event. Alternative facts. And Voldemort, Lord uh, Lord Hooglin. Yeah. Uh, he actually uh, he was crushing this event, um, and so he was running. I believe he's running. Uh, nowadays, it's actively being played in modern, uh, where they use a full playset. And I believe he was running a full playset. I talked to Pro Tour Richie Thompson tonight. Nice. Um, and he told me, I said, what the fuck's up with uh, with Nipple Birds? And he was like, Nipple Birds is even better. Tonight is, birds. you have ruined the show. Yeah, you, 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 you fucking broken me. So I said, what's up with Nipple Birds? I said, why are you why are you running three copies? Don't you want to run two? And he's like, he's like, yeah, this card feels really clunky. I'm um, sorry, medium. It, this card feels really, your I won't say it. Word, your favorite word. He said, this, word. this thing feels clunky, and he said, I'm probably going to cut one. Hmm. Uh, so I, I totally agree with that. Um, but again, uh, Lord Voldemort, uh, Hooglin, he ran f a full playset, and he maybe he won the thing. Uh, I know he top aided because everybody was excited because he usually plays like shit. Sure. And he sure. did amazing, and he was playing I Wizards. Yeah, the, the owling, owling mind thing got you. I know. Can I? Uh, uh, All right, so you may scroll back down. Okay. I'll allow oh, it. but down. I'll I was, allow it. I wanted to just see what. What does it do? I just wanted to see what this one was. Okay, we did. Cover yeah, that we, one. yeah, we covered that last week. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. So, um, yeah. You want the deck? No. So, it, ooh, he's got cheap. What is cheap it? Cheap pickups. Pick -ups? Enchantress. Holy shit! Because like enchanter commander stuff, you know. Correct. Yep. It's only got the two printings, but it's oh. in the new stuff. And, but wow. it's in high demand. We used to have to do the work for this. Now he's putting this in here. Maybe he watched the show. I mean, we do talk about this Scape is, Shift quite a bit. This is literally the first time he's done this. This is I, great. I, I've never seen this. Yeah. I've never noticed this before. Well, yeah, least. because I used to have to grab the links for the cheap pickups mm -hmm. and show them. So he's got number one and number two. We, we were doing three. Sure, sure. But whatever. Maybe he just doesn't have the time for that. Would you like your all-time highs? Uh, absolutely. So Okay. Pick up your uh, your enchantresses for uh, commander mm -hmm. and your scape shifts for modern. Mm -hmm. yep. Were there particular cards that we had our eyes set on uh, for high this week, Josh? Uh, well, the cards that were shown. Um, oh, we talked about those in particular. Yeah, like I mean, to be honest, like we already everybody like if you're following, um, if you're following the modern format, if you're following, if you're even barely following stuff, uh, you're gonna know. I can't get anything. You're gonna know what's up. Um, but if you're not, um. The bridge from below deck is really hot right now, so your bridges are popped. Um, every, <laughs> your bridges are popped. Everything that's pretty much in the deck has gone up, um, even down to your grave crawlers. Your blood gas, they're they're also high. So you got uh, blood gas, grave crawlers, bridge from below, venge vines. Venge vines like almost tripled in price, I believe. Yeah. They went from like 20 to 40 it keeps, it keeps to jumping a lot. 80 or something it, like that. Your Ley Line in the Void is one. I'm yeah. sorry, you just said we, this one continuously goes up. We and talked so, about it three and, weeks ago. Uh, We're like, you need to grab them now. Yeah, we've we, yeah, we've talked about this every week now. But this is, um, I don't think we actually knew why this was going up so, so much, just, so fast. But we figured it out once we played the fucking deck. Yes, the Vine deck so we is played, very paint. Yeah, so we played the, we played the deck today and... Now it, it clicks, and mm -hmm. I say, oh, that's weird. Everybody's hedging against this deck, so they know that Rest in Peace might not get there because you could, you're could you half dead by the time 
you get to a rest in peace. Mm -hmm. So you need that turn zero ley line, and then you say pass turn, okay, try to beat me down with one ones and two twos. Sure, so. sure, sure, sure. Uh, were there any lows that you were able to catch? Because we were trying to, like... Yeah, nothing. God damn, uh, that's yeah, that's not what I want to do. Nothing really on the lows, other than what they said. The the scape shifts. Um, I can't really think of anything at the moment, to be honest. Like, um, there are decks that are fading right now. I know Snapcaster Mage is back up to seventy five dollars. I learned that today. Bobs are starting to come back down a yeah, little bit, so, and I have a story about Bob Marr later. Oh, cool. The original, Mr. Bob himself. Cool. Yeah, but uh, Snapcasters are, are are starting to creep up to seventy five bucks when. Just maybe a month ago, they were at uh, 50, mm -hmm. um, 55. So, um, yeah, this is just, it's tough because once the once the formats swing, you, like, you either have to have the card or you have to be on it, like, super fast. Yeah, you can't wait. Or you're going to, you're going to you pay, you're going to pay a 30% increase on whatever cards you need. So if you're, if you're late, you're late. Yeah. So. All right, that's finance. That's finance. Yeah, I I think next is the Brenda Smith recap. Yeah, Brenda Smith. So which we didn't. I also think I have a photo. Yeah, that's you. And, up. That's you and Brenda. Yeah. Okay. Here, here's Brenda and I. Brenda is like not super local. She's definitely Michigan. Yeah. But she'll come out for my drafts every once in a while on Tuesday and stuff. Absolutely. Like that. I know I it's a little her. bit of a drive, but there's a good group now. of people. Yeah. And she's a wonderfully sweet person. Really good at limited. Really good at sealed. Um. In particular, and it doesn't do a lot of constructed. She's going to uh, GP. Not she does barely any constructed. She going? Yeah, she's going. That's right. She's going out to the Vegas one, right? Anyways, yeah, and she doesn't. I'm I'm telling you, like every single event I've seen her at, I never say hi to her because, like, I didn't. I don't think I always she. Always say hi. She's so nice. No, I'm not. I'm not saying she's not nice. I'm just saying, like, I never say hi to her. But I know I've always seen her at Pando for like years now. Mm -hmm. But she just plays. Um, not constructed she just plays like oh, yeah, sealed she's, she's and, all and, and yeah. limited she just plays limited and so i never play limited because sure. i'm dog shit at that format sure. because you have to be a good magic player to play that well format. now you can say hi and say we're so happy to continuously talk about you on the show like <laughs> we got to get you on we have, and have yeah. chris actually set up the recording equipment instead of being a dipshit yeah no she can she can actually run through and tell us how to do some picks yeah oh Spend, like, i don't i still don't understand trying to read fuck. signals very well, well she's very good at yeah, it how do you how do you even read signals I don't know, i'm bad at that that is something i'm not really great at limited i'll give you that dude i've never seen you smile that big Dude, I was so excited because, like, it was just after we had talked about her, and I'm like, Brenda, I heard you had a great fucking time at Gen Con. Yeah. So, and you were just like, oh, my God, I'm gonna finally going to smile. Yeah, and I was like, tell me about it. Like, I got to get a photo with you. Like, I told, I heard that she was coming, and I was like, I told Byron Miller, I was like, Byron, remind me, I got to get a photo with Brenda later so that I can have it for the show. Yeah. And I should have said, like, make me set up the camera and the microphone so we can just do an interview. God. But, so... So you, I wish I was really good at Photoshop because I would have snuck, I would have snuck a dick and balls oh in your hand my right there. God. Please don't give them ideas. Yeah, I would have just, I would have put a penis and ball because like your hand is like this. I fucking hate you. You gotta cup the <laughs> bottom of your hand. You gotta cut the bottom of your hand, baby. <laughs> Holy shit! Support I wish I could Photoshop, but the, I can't. What is it? T Tall balls, McGee. Tall balls, McGee. <laughs> I would have photoshopped the shit out of you. So at Gen Con, they had these. Uh, these 25 year anniversary or whatever drafts mm -hmm. uh, that if you won them, you got a invite to the beta draft that they were doing on <sighs> Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. Um, the first one was on Thursday, scheduled to start at three. Talked to Brenda. It didn't start till a little after four. Mm -hmm. Gen Con's big and crazy, and there was a lot of stuff going on. They had over 200 people in that event. Normally, this this is where it gets interesting. Normally, they only do five rounds for those events, and then they have like the eight undefeated from it or whatever. And it's like, okay, you're you're the top eight. You guys draft. So you got all the information that we talked about last week. Now you have the story for it. I have the full stuff now. Holy have, shit! So so like they and they announced like they had it in their write up that it was like a five hour event. So which is like five rounds ish, and right? We, and what we told everybody was it lasted till six a.m. Yes, they did eight hours plus the draft. Yeah. The undefeated or the no time top eight or whatever. She made it to the oh, finals of that one. No time top. Eight. Got knocked oh. out. Got. Got knocked out in like five five thirty in the morning. Went mm -hmm. to bed. Got back up at ten a.m. because it's Gen Con. She didn't want to miss a bunch of stuff or whatever. Of course. So she went and played, did a bunch of stuff. Did then went back to a little bit of magic. Nothing crazy. Saturday she queues up for I think it was like a 
four o'clock or five o'clock one. Doesn't like her pool. Kind of loses in, in the first one's like drops and like he's like I'm gonna go do this this seven o'clock one because they just fired another one. It was Dominary. She's like I like Dominary more than Corset anyways. Um, does really well. Gets a crazy pool. Um, oh, people were people were complaining really hard too uh, on that first one. They're like this is supposed to be five rounds. Why are we doing eight? This is not like we didn't sign up to do eight rounds of this shit. Yeah, because it ruined their fucking weekend. Yeah, it was a fucking nightmare. It's a lot of fucking magic. So. Uh, so on Saturday, she queues up for the last one or whatever, does really well, makes it to the top eight again. Oh, no. Spoilers. Her winning into top eight, she faces off against Dark Confident himself, Mr. Bob Marr, and beats him. Which is really fucking cool. That's really sweet. That's really fucking well, cool. Well, she's a monster, dude. She's really fucking good at limited, dude. Yeah, she's really she's fucking a, good. Like, Brenda's, I, Brenda's an all-star. Her, She has a playgroup. Yeah, they were. They've been playing limited at the other store since I like since forever. Yeah, so like I okay, I used to go to the other store and play. Okay, when it was across How the street. Dare you? No. Oh, you're talking about the, the just yeah. We yeah, went down the street. Morgan. My bad. Yeah. I used to go there. Then I went off. At, I went into the military. I came home. They were still playing mm-hmm. limited. I used to come and play limited a little bit when I got home because I didn't have any fucking magic cards left. Sure. Um and. Who, she probably crushed me multiple times. I know. I know her play group always used to crush me. And, They're good. You know. They're but, fun. They're nice people, though. Oh yeah, absolutely. And but I just you know like I, I couldn't play limited, so I was just like, all right, I got to start playing constructed again. <laughs> you got to get away. It's your fault that you don't have anything to talk about. <laughs> no, yeah. And so like, and that was when I got back in. Was during Innistrad block when I got home from the Navy. Yeah. And so I started. Uh, I started playing constructed. And then I, I I never went back to to so limited, limited because I'm just not good at it because yeah. it just it takes it takes it is I still will say this it is the hardest format to play I don't care what anybody fucking says I'm a I'm a thousand That's percent sure weird. limited is the hardest format in Magic ever we're gonna have to test that theory yeah prove me wrong so all of these events the Swiss was sealed. She made it to top eight, yeah. you redraft. Well, you don't redraft, you do a draft. And then that's your pool going forward. Okay. Drafts, she said, it, she said it was pretty good. Opponent just had a, a, a better deck. And, no, she said it was about the same. But she, the first game, she floods. Mm-hmm. She has three lands, draws five cards, four of them are land. Dies. Plays, got, got to play like one spell. Uh, next one... Has two lands, never sees her third, dies. So she went sure. flood, screw, same match, out of the top eight. Very good, yeah. Uh, the guy that beat her won that top eight. And they, dur- when they were seeding for the top eight, uh, they, they said to everybody, guys, it's, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning on Sunday now. The winner of this event will be expected to be here ready to do the draft, the, the Rochester draft for beta at 8 a.m. Okay. No matter how long this takes us. Brenda got, Brenda got knocked out in the first round, went to bed. Came back in the morning. The guy that beat her won the whole thing. It was a little after 7 in the morning when they finished. Mm-hmm. And he had no time to go home, change, anything like that. So guy played 18 plus hours of Magic, including the beta draft. And then was the guy that won the beta draft that you talked about. Yeah, that's the guy week. that I told you that came on stage... And they were like, "Hey man, so are you? You're pretty pumped up about winning, right?" And he's like, "Yeah." And yeah. then like they're like, "All right, so uh, what 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 do you think, man?" And he's like, "Thanks a lot, guys." Yeah, because they he gave was like, the starter, the alpha starter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The alpha starter. He's, and he's like, "Thanks, guys. Uh, peace out." Yeah. And we were like, "So yeah, exactly." But it makes all this more sense now because he was. The guy was playing like twenty hours. He was probably fucking his delirious. brain was fucking done at he was, that yeah, point. Yeah, they're probably, pulling him on stage to put him, make a speech or something. I, I didn't know that. I mean, yeah, he was no. probably like, I, "I'll fucking murder everybody here if you make me talk for one more second. I just want to sleep." I was telling Brenda, I was like, "Man, we talked about all of that. We didn't have all the details, and that makes it so much funnier." Yeah, it, that yeah, poor that's, fucking guy. We have, we have backstory, so that's that's that was the thing. Like, if I wasn't stuck at that goddamn booth for three days. Mm-hmm. By listing, I would mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I would have mm-hmm. I would have had more information. All right, so uh, that was our Brenda talk. Yes. Again, we I like that lady. I love her. I so love her. if you love her, I love her. 
Um, yeah, let's move on to uh, what's coming up, upcoming events. Upcoming events. Upcoming uh, events so for you. Again, have... every week for uh, um, Tinnitus. Oh, Tinnitus, yeah, so... Yeah, so every week we talk about um, upcoming events. Not only what who's on top, what's going on, but what you're going to be doing. He said he's going to be in L.A. Yep, GPLA. That's uh, where Brenda's yep. going. Who, yep. again, doesn't normally play Constructed. I talked to her a little bit about Constructed. She's going to be on, spoiler alert, yeah. uh, Constrictor. Tinnitus. Tinnitus. Yeah, it's like an it's like an inflammation. Yeah. <laughs> I've got tinnitus Fucking in my Josh. Chris's got tinnitus in his in his dick. So SCG has a open this weekend Correct. in Dallas. Team constructed. Means we get to see some fucking legacy. We get to yeah. see about the same standard and some like crazy modern. Yep. Which is just always fun. This is honestly gonna be the coverage that I'm watching. This weekend, this yep. will be really exciting. And then uh, we, after that, we got Baltimore. We got um, the Magic. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry, you wanted to, okay. Yeah, so Which we got, just well, water. it's it's actually cool. Scroll down a little bit. Sure. Uh, so you got Baltimore, Syracuse, and then you have Baltimore, Baltimore again. again. So oh. I'm actually, um, follow, yeah, so following Detroit, um, I'm going to be in Baltimore for the Legacy event, which is going to be very cool. Um, I'm going to try to burn. play. I'm going to try to play in it. Legacy burn. Yeah. I'm going to try to uh, uh, price of progress some motherfuckers out of the game make everybody sad um but yeah so i'll be in baltimore so if you guys see me there um you know come come pick on me come say hi either one um i like it's 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 tintus but i really like tinnitus we're just gonna <laughs> yeah tinnitus is great all right so uh not only are we gonna tell you about the sug events coming up we're also gonna tell you about the gp events so again uh, this so we pull up the schedule is the 17th through the 19th yep so you got gp providence yep and you got gp los angeles yes which says uh just straight standard they're both just standard which is really weird why would you have a double standard the same fucking weekend that is interesting on they're both opposite on, sides yeah. of the united states oh, that's not normally how they do it they normally have like a, a european or uh asian market one <laughs> asian market like can you go there and get like yeah like i'm saying like octopus. japan i'm saying like japan um he, but you can get octopus they've done hong kong china that stuff bullcock <laughs> i like octopus but i don't know about the rest of that shit yeah you do uh, if you, if you see Dakota Rogers in top eight, <laughs> then you owe me a drink. Let's do it. Uh, yeah. Uh, that show will be brought to you by... Paps Blue Ribbon. Paps Blue Ribbon. Cause... Listen. God I'll damn send, it, it's in in your shitty beer. Yeah, I will send you Sorry, one of these. Sorry, Paps. I'll send you one of these in the mail. We will, we'll court, we'll, we will cord you in and we'll have a beer together. <laughs> I, I 100% promise if you top eight in LA... You just let us know. I'll send you a beer, and we'll Discord you, and we'll have a beer together. Yeah. Um, what were you thinking about playing? Let us know real quick. So uh, then, as always, we'll just real quick, because I just like I just like popping up the... Uh, you like you love transitioning. I love the transitioning. The transition when are you going to actually transition? Ha-ha! Well, uh, Josh Thompson is actually in the hospital right now doing a transition. No, I wish he watched the show. They're cutting off his fucking leg. No, they're not cutting. You know, our, like our friends, like you know, tonight has had to find Oops, us by accident. Yeah, and yeah. like he's like, yeah, man, you guys, you, you guys, guys are, are fun, and we are. Our own friends won't even watch us. No, they just sleep at night because we're fucking owl monsters. Yeah. So yeah. local Fuck yokels, them. what's going on with the local events that are coming up and stuff like that? Who okay. do are we expecting to play? Where should you go? Those kind of things. Yeah. Let's get into it. So local yokels. Upcoming on my calendar here, like we said, we got GPLA, GP Providence, Standard Modern. Oh, what the hell? Maybe I mislabeled this. Because those both say Standard, do they not? Yeah. Hmm, I wonder if... You're always wanting to play Modern. Maybe I mislabeled it, or maybe it changed and I missed it. So those are probably those are both Standard, my bad. G, uh, SCG uh, Team Constructed in Dallas, we mm -hmm. talked about that. Correct. And now these are all PPTQs, and there's an SCG IQ in our backyard. Galactic toys. Yeah, we'll talk about them. We'll pull it up because now we have we have the document here, which I need to go through and update a little bit. There's a few things that um, changed, changed, and yeah. Well, you have so much time to do everything, so you know what I do. Playing as per control. That's right. You did mention that. Mm -hmm. uh, just be, just be, just rip people's hands apart, man. Duress, negate. It's real important right now. Yeah, you got this. Okay, so let's start at the top. We have. One, two, three, four, five, six PPTQs this weekend. Holy shit. And, oh, I haven't even recolored these. I'll recolor these off. And the Galactic Toys 
modern SCG IQ. So, so there's a lot so, of magic there's this so weekend much, in Michigan. Yeah, there's so many PPTQs going on, and mm-hmm. I can't make one of them. I'm going to try to go to one of them we'll talk about in just a moment. I'm so bummed out. Um, But let's go to Jester's Gallery real quick. See what they got going what on. What is this? Oh, this is the this place is that's the... cut out by me, I think. In, yeah. Where is it? What city is it in? Waterford. Okay, yeah, I went there. This was when I first started playing, like, my burn deck, and I was really bad at it. I like this intro. You asked for it, and now we're now it's here. Modern PPTQ at Jester's Gallery. I like that. That's good. I, what? I like the write-up. I'm a TO, all right? I like the write-up. I like a little enthusiasm, tone setting through the event. Yeah, the mana base is tough for Asper Control, my dude. So this weekend it time, uh, event starts at one. Always arrive early. Get your deck list done the day before. Don't do it the day of. It's always awful. Entry is thirty five, which is high. Well, yeah, they're fu- look at their fucking payout. It's two twenty to first. That's uh, I don't know. So thirty five is high because like our standard in Michigan for like the bigger or well set up like you have space you and and, and you have extra calm. tos and stuff like that oh fuck you uh oh you mean this place oh you're pointing at my store i was what like, I was like motherfucker no. so let's this see prize small. example structure with 20 players all prizes and store credit but it does say that Ooh, they're they're increasing uh, i didn't notice that all prizes in store credit boo it's not awful it's not awful, but I think that yes, I think you're right. I think this is a smaller store. You're gonna pay thirty five dollars, and get I don't think they have a giant selection. Is the other thing. Oh, hold on, I'm listening. If you're gonna pay thirty five fucking dollars for a chance at two hundred and twenty dollars store credit, Look at fucking Gumby playing magic. <laughs> is that their picture? Oh, there's a fucking pumpkin man right here too. Holy, Holy shit! Titties. That guy's a champ. Um, but yeah, so like, okay, you're gonna be. Your payout, yeah. Look how small this place is. It's pretty small. Yeah. Uh, so you just don't pay out in store credit. What if they use Star City Games pricing? I was actually hoping to get a shot of their case. So you pay thirty five bucks. Bad. You pay thirty five bucks to get like two caverns sure. if you win the whole goddamn event. Yep. This is a this is as we call it a spikeable one. This is not where the majority of the community is going to be going this weekend. Correct. You're and not going to have your Pro Tour Richie Thompsons there. Your Pro Tour Richie Thompsons are going to be at Our House Games you know in what? Monroe. We talked this his... is going to be the one this weekend. I love these people. They're great. They're, the owners are wonderful. The TOs are great. We talked his ass up last week. Oh, so many cycle lands. I feel bad for tinnitus, our buddy. Yeah. So we talked Richie up last week. He went out I'm to sorry, a crop. <laughs> he went out to a crop What's his list. Name? Pro Tour Richie Thompson. Thank you. Uh, he went out uh, to Acropolis last week to one of the PPTQs for Modern. Yes, he did. And he didn't win it. He did not. But his friend, uh, Gavin Kukinir, um made it to the finals of that event. Yeah, sure. And but I'm just saying, he didn't He didn't win it. We thought he was going to win it. And... Oh, I, I, I know he's going to win it. I don't care that it happened last week and he didn't win it. I oh, know so he's going oh, to. Oh, so win he's going to win some com- coming up events. He, well, we have to go. Oh, our house. We have to go back in time to Tuesday to to film uh, episode fourteen of this show, right? So he can come <laughs> back with us a little bit further and he can go win the PPTQ. Mm, I mean, if yeah. Gavin's not going to win it, it might as well be Richie. Yes, <laughs> you're right. So yeah, so our house games, our house games, um, all of these guys. I'm going to be there. I'm either going to be helping on staff or I'm going to be playing. You're not going to play. This one's going to be packed. I told them, we're going to move all the stuff around. We're going to put out extra tables. This one's going to be packed. You're going to act like you're going to play. You're not. Whatever. I'm going to help them put on a great show because they're they're worth it. These are great people. Oh, you know what you better do? Better don't. You better do. (laughs) Uh, Take some pictures, number one. All right. Number two. um, Tonight is just tilted. (laughs) Yeah, is he tilted? He's tilted. He's like, fuck this land base. Yeah, of course. Uh, Number two. Set up, find somebody in this motherfucker. You want me to bring equipment with me? And, and no, I don't want you to do anything there. I want you to plant some seeds with someone that's either A, wins the goddamn I'm thing. I'm not looking to have kids. I don't want you to I'm plant... I'm sorry to interrupt. I don't want you to plant any seeds in any dudes. What I'm asking you to oh, do is plant savage. some plant some seeds with someone. Stop laughing at your own joke. <laughs> it's a good joke. Plant some seeds with someone and say, hey, man, can we talk to you? That's, we're just gonna that's start, creepy. I know what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, we're going to start begging people to, you know, get some interviews. Begging in. people. We got this. Yeah, we got people this. People like us. Um, yeah, so uh, if, you, you know, if you're looking to spike something, 
Uh, hope you're running hot, because uh, Pro Tour Richie Thompson is going to be there and all his boys. Yes, they'll all be there. It's in Monroe, this so is, it's kind of a hike. This is going to be the big one. Yeah, um, look out for the children in the corn, because that place is in the middle of nowhere. This one also says no cash will be given for the tournament, so it's got to be store credit. But Good I can store, almost though. guarantee you that if they get enough people, I think I can. Uh, I think I might be able to twist their arm a little bit on that. Yeah. Because as long as they're making some money, I can help put some money back out of the magic community. Yeah, listen, man, I'll, I'll send I you like, the, I like these people. I'll they're send very you with nice. a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, uh, I was there last week. Uh, I actually went and talked to them, and um, I talked to the manager, Erica. Yes. And, uh, she's a really nice lady. Um, I talked to her about actually um, maybe doing some product shifting. Uh, mm, so that you they get can... some stuff in, you get some stuff out. Well, yeah, and, you know, I we have a lot of bigs right now, so I was thinking to myself, like, hey, maybe you guys can sideways some stuff, or maybe I can set up one of your workers, take them to an event. You can sideways your stuff for bigger things, and, you know, that may help your player base. That's going to help you guys grow a little bit yep, financially. Yep. So, Next up, because we have so many PPTQs, I'm going to start flying through well, them a little bit here. We got all of them? We got a lot of them. We always, we always put it all out there so that the community has the options. They know what's right, going on. I'll stop talking then. So, Go. Modern PPTQ at Stadium Cards and Comics. Um, the, oh, crap, I think these guys are in Yipsy. Oh, my mm -hmm. stomach just mm -hmm. went crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. These are Yipsy. There will be a bunch of people at this one because uh, everyone will, like, converge on Ypsilanti. Um, let's see, $20 cash or $25 store credit. Personally, I don't like that. I don't like def not defunding store credit. I like store credit to be the same as cash, treated the same way. I don't like, here, you got prize. It's not worth as much as the number actually represents. I don't like that, personally. Uh, other says, than that, it, says, it has cash prize. Uh, prize based on 40-person attendance. Um, this place... Um, this is going to get, like, 30. This is going to get, like, 20-ish. Yeah. This place is the size of my actual basement. Not Mom's Basement Games. My literal basement. Don't they, like, set you up in a in an extra area, though, for these ones? Oh, they have an overflow area, but I don't know if they use it. We'll still. see. We'll but see. anyways, yeah, this place is, is tiny as dick. Um, you know, and definitely don't expect more than 40 people there. They, oh, I just noticed the cash. The cash is first and second, which is fine. Uh, but it's packs the other way around. Not bad. Not bad. It's so this is this is one you can go to. This, this, is, this is okay. This place is, is okay. this is a small ball place. Uh, I've been there twenty times. Uh, the people who work there are great. Mm. They're really great That's guys. Good. It is a small ball place, so if you're expect if you're expecting to go there and something extravagant to happen, it's not going to happen. But uh, who's got the they're good guys, so uh, I would definitely Black say support course. them if okay. if you're going to choose to go there. Good on you. Okay. Also on Saturday. You have your choice at the Stadium Frankenmuth, which is becoming an increasingly popular venue. Why? Because there's Bulvarian beer, because Watsy's on top with changing their policies and yada, yada, yada. Wait, I do my face again. Yeah, that was so fun. Like, you need to go back to the beginning of this episode later and just watch Josh dancing to the <laughs> old school, like, tuned up music. Um, but let's see what they got here. Uh, $20 entry fee. Uh, do, 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 do scale up starting at 33 players. So if they break the sixth round, then they'll, they'll get, increase prize. I, I hope to God they do because I guarantee you that is not good. I guarantee you they you'll love at, the way you look. <laughs> yeah, you'll love the way you look. No, I guarantee you they hit at least 60 players. Mm, I agree. They I think rush these. 50, you know what? I'm actually going to disagree. I'm going to go with mid 40s because there's again so much eight going on. PPTQs and an yeah. IQ. I think people are going to be split. Community split this weekend. You're right. You're right. They, it'll be spread out like your cheeks. This is a good weekend to really push for your invite. Mm-hmm. Okay. On I think this is Sunday, so let's go to this real quick at Galactic Toys. I believe this is a smaller place as well. They're in a, a strip, a strip one. Yeah, it's not too small. It looks good, dude. They're I really like their sign. That's that's, that's cute. That's, it's super cute. Yeah. Good job. Good job, guys. Let's see here. Events. What? Look at that. Who's doing their shit? That would, I mean, I could do that. <laughs> at least they're doing it. Yeah. They. Uh, that. Uh, props to the hustle. Hustle hard. Hustle hard. Oh, they got all this stuff going up. T.O. is on point. Here we go. Galactic Toys 1K SCG IQ Modern. Guaranteed cap at 70 players. Man, they could do it. 
You think, think so? Yeah, they could do it. It's again, it's another split community, but Grand I think Rapids? PPTQs is a good thing to do. I don't know if I've been to Grand Rapids. I probably have. You have to pass. A lot of people around here have to pass like two PPTQs in order to get to this place. Oh, okay. So it's kind of be it's going to be like a local shit. So. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. This looks good. What's your entry? Thirty bucks. Totally reasonable for an event like this. Store credit. Uh, does it say four hundred store credit? I don't know. It just says I don't see credit. Oh. I don't see cash. Do you see? No, I don't see the word cash. Could be one way. Could be the other. <laughs> Does the prize scale by chance the cap is met? Hey, that's Future Pro. <gasps> that's Future Pro Raymond Perez. Uh, we got to get him. We'll on get the him show. on the show at some point. Yeah. Hey, everyone, we got a link fixed so you can pre register with us online. TO on point. TO on point. Uh, so, okay. If there weren't so many PPQs, I would so, say, wait. guys, hit this up. Oh, hold on. What? If, again, we always tell people, like, hey, you know, go, go to this place. Ray. Oh, Ray Perez is going to this. No, I don't know. Maybe he's trolling people. Do you think he does that on purpose? We got to ask him. I don't think he's bronze right now. We got to ask. No. Well, yeah, he took a break, but. Yeah. Because he's doing like a lot of work shit and school shit, I think, I believe. Oh, that was cool. Did you hear that? Yeah, that was, that was awesome. insane. Uh, but yeah, if he, maybe he trolls people and. uh nah, Ray's too sweet. He's a yeah, nice guy. he is. But if he's going to this. Don't bother. You should stay away. Fucking go somewhere else. Ray will crush people. Wait, yeah. Sunday. Way. Two PPTQs on Sunday, and then that's it. We're going to call it a night. So many PPTQs. Holy shit, there's so many. Oh, boy. Evolution okay. Games. Never heard of them. Evo. Never heard of them. Uh, modern PPTQ. Here we are. What do we got? $25 entry. Start time one. 45 minute reg time. That's a little interesting. Deck list required. Prize store credit slash packs will be given out. I like. I'm okay with this kind of stuff at twenty dollars. You get you get past twenty dollars, and I'm like, let's do something Stop fancy. Stop charging it's thirty-five modern. fucking dollars for your PTQ to give away packs. Oh, no one wants packs. Modern oh, players don't want packs. Holy fuck! And you're not giving away modern Ooh, masters packs. And they're they're really excited to do side event drafts. No one wants Kaladesh packs. You're used up fucking packs. If anyone watches this that is going to do There's a There's soul rings in there. Fucking stop. They're giving away Corsa. You know that. Be grown-ups. This is spikeable. You want the invite, go get the invite. This one is not I never a even prize heard hunter. I, I never even heard of this place. So I, go there I and heard it. Go, it's in Sag. There and, yeah. Oh, it's in Sag Nasty. Sag Nasty. Oh, Sag. No, it's in it says Lansing. Oh. No, Evo Games. Saginaw. Oh, it is in Lansing. Yeah, it's, it's got in, a Saginaw Highway. My bad. Yeah, it's in Lansing. Here. There. It's right there, if you can't We've tell. We've talked about this place, I think. I think so. I don't remember why, though. I think I've been there once, but I think I was drunk. Moving on. Yep. Game on Sag Nasty. <laughs> hey! Game on Saginaw. All right. I don't recommend this place, but there are The rides. game on guys kind of split themselves around, hey. and I have a little problem right away. Oh, yeah, you no can't find No event information posted. Yeah, we saw this last time. Yep. Good. Can't can't give you anything about Sorry, this Game one. Sorry, Game On. We can't talk about you because uh, you didn't put your stuff up right. Yeah. And, and I even... didn't know about it because I've been crazy busy. The last few times I reached out to TOs and, and they're like, oh, I'll put it up. Or, oh, I didn't put it there. I put it over here, which we talked about that yeah. in the past as well. And you, you don't mm. even know if they're giving away packs. They're probably giving away packs because if they're, if, they're if they're too lazy to put up their stuff... They might be giving away packs. Let's see if I can get. Nope. Nah. No posts. I don't know. Right, Sorry, guys. Right. Can't really shout you out without information for the community. All right. So that's so, that's local lots yokels. Lots of PPTQs this yes. week, and no spoiler alert, but a lot next weekend too. Oh Jesus Christ! With the PPTQs, I can't take it. I can't take it. It's the season everyone has been waiting for, man. No, and I can't get out and play as much as you can. Oh, well, that's why you're being a grouchy. Yeah, bitch. I'm being a bitch about it because <laughs> I want to fucking play them and I can't. I gotta work. It's fucking trash. Well, guys, I'm Chris. <laughs> this is for Josh. I'm going to go put, put him down no, for his nap. No, don't put me down for a nap. Yes, you oh, are a grumpy hey, little bitch. Hey, Rosh is right. Practice uh, for GP Detroit. Yeah, Rosh, I'm playing I'm playing in Detroit. My brother actually... You're uh, on, you're off, you're hot, you're cold. No, you it's kissed not that. a girl and you liked it. Make up your fucking no, mind. No, it's not that. It's just, I think we're going to do bad. I think we're just going to like get crushed by like mm -hmm. round six. Because like, 
So what? Al doesn't play that much, and... and then you guys go vendor, whatever. Yeah, so, like, we're, we're playing in the fucking event. I'm signing us up, like, Good. ASAP. Oh, shit. I actually need to do that with Josh and Cody. <gasps> Josh is going to lose his leg. <laughs> I hope he's not watching this, man. He'll be fine. Um, should have should have sent it directly no, hey, to him. Uh, before before Ooh, we sign off, off. can Almost. you do me? Hey, can you do me a favor? What's that? Can you play that song again and we can dance our way out of this? I don't think I have it. I'm sorry. What the fuck? I wanted to dance our way out. Let of this. me you look said, real you quick. You said you were gonna use a wheel and we could be corny once in a while. Like you are corny, my dude. Like I just you know I want to be on the fly here and just I want to dance our way out. You know how Ellen does. Yes. You know, she's always dancing on her show. Uh-huh. I don't ever want to dance on our show. But maybe just, like, move around and be happy. You know. Jesus Christ. How about that? We just move around and be happy. And then, you know, we just we just do that as our, as our outro. Because we don't have an outro. I'm trying for you, buddy. But I don't see we just the always... link that I put in my history okay well, i'm sorry can we do right. it next time let's let's outro next time. we'll outro next time okay bud all right. i'm sorry that's all right. so that's it for us that's our baker's dozen episode yes so uh make sure that you guys again like we talked about catch us next week we're gonna do tuesday tuesday at 9 30 time is changing yeah tuesday so, 9 30 um if you if you guys like the show uh follow us on twitch yeah also if you don't get a chance to watch the entire show maybe you fell asleep uh, maybe you wanted to, yeah, maybe you wanted to watch uh, Chris restart the video a few times. Oh. Uh, maybe you could go back and rewatch that portion. Shame. <laughs> it won't happen again. Shame. I know what I'm doing now. I know what I'm doing. Don't yeah. click that button. Got it. Um, yeah. Other than that, like one of the other things that we've been kind of missing on is like it. Nine thirty Eastern time. Yes, Eastern Standard Time. Um, Rash. Talk to your Rash. talk to your buddies. Rash is the best. Fucking love him. Um, he's our he's our content producer. Thanks. Almost. Oh yeah, he is. Yeah. He's behind the scenes. Yeah, he is. He's, he's an unlisted credit. Yeah, yeah. Um, tell you, tell your buddies. Like, if you think that like it, we have information that they're gonna enjoy too. It's, it's we're spreading it around a little bit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Spread it like Chris's cheeks. Good night, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn, that was great.